In this video, we're going to be making a vase. We'll primarily be using the line and arc tools along with extend, offset, and revolve. Take a look at the bottom of your screen and make sure you have on ortho, object snap tracking, and object snap. Okay, so we'll start with a line and we'll make a vertical axis that's 12 inches long. And we will also make a series of horizontal lines to serve as construction lines for our base. So starting at the bottom, I will click, pull my mouse out, and we'll say two inches. Line again, and this time employing object snap tracking, I can hover over that endpoint and pull my mouse up without clicking. Type in one, enter, three, enter. We'll repeat that step. Hovering over the endpoint, pull my mouse up, two, and then four inches. Line again, hover over this point, pull my mouse up for two, and three. To create a smaller neck on my vase, I will hover over this endpoint, pull my mouse up three, and then only come out a half an inch. And finally, I'll create the line across the top, just out one inch. Now I'll use my three-point arcs to create some curves in between those lines. Something like that. Maybe I'll go to the bottom now. There we go. And then in this larger part, I can use these guidelines pretty easily. And I'll finish off my last arc. Something like that. Once you have them in place and are happy with the shape, you can come in and delete those horizontal guidelines. Just make sure you leave the top and the bottom. Then we will join all of these lines together into one continuous polyline. Using offset at point one, we will offset this line inside so we can actually create a thickness to the vase so it's not a surface, it's a solid, but we'll also create an empty volume inside so it's more realistic. Looking at the top, we can see that this is still going to be closed off once we revolve it. At this point, we'll need to explode these lines right here, then use extend, pick the line we're extending to, enter, and the line that we actually want to extend, enter. I can delete or erase this one, and then trim this top line away. Now, I will use my join command again, and select all of these lines to join them in one piece. Enter. Now I have one continuous polyline that I can then revolve around this central axis line 360 degrees. I have a 3D solid vase. I'll change my view from front to southwest isometric and from 2D wireframe to conceptual so we can get a better look. Using 3D Orbit, I can spin around and look inside. 